Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about what's called a torque amplifier. And what this device is, is it's a device that can amplify the amount of torque that uh, goes into it. So if you, uh, say, have a uh, input, this right here is actually a shaft here. So if you uh, rotate the shaft like 90 degrees along this side, you'll get a 90 degree output as well, but it'll have a lot more strength to it. So it can overcome a lot more friction or resistance or something rotationally on this side than uh, you would able, be able to uh, overcome with the uh, torque or you know the rotational power uh, on uh, this side here. So if you have something that has like a lot of friction on uh, this point, that uh, would that could possibly cause this one to seize up or really slow down or something. You could use this whole arrangement here to uh, put out a lot more torque, but the same amount of uh, signal or rotational, uh, you know, the same degree of rotation uh, for the output as you would the input. So anyway, oh, sorry, I bumped the tripod there. So anyway, the way this thing works is that you have your input shaft right here. This is all just uh, basically a shaft with a, uh, that's connected to this arm here. And that's all just one unit. And same thing with the output shaft. Uh, that's why I have it colored in here because otherwise this drawing is very ambiguous and it's very hard to figure out because you don't know what's connected to what. But this output shaft is, uh, this whole thing here is connected as well and neither the input nor the output shaft touch these pulleys or these uh, drums. That's what these little boxes are. They're actually drums. So these are all independent. So this whole assembly is connected here. You know, this pulley and this uh, cylinder is connected, but this output shaft is freely rotating from it. So there's like a bearing or something here. They don't control each other, not whatsoever. The only way that everything interfaces with uh, the only way that the input interfaces with uh, these uh, drums and pulleys and all this other stuff here is through these ropes. Everything's connected through those. So the way you get your uh, so your input will come from the shaft here, and the way your you get your power is through a motor that drives both of these pulleys here, which then drive these friction drums that'll rotate and counter. Uh, well, will be they'll be rotating counter to each other. So this one here will be rotating like this, and the one over here will be rotating like this, right? And the way it works is that you have a uh, motor or whatever that's just automatically spinning these two drums all the time, just continuously, right? And the reason why you have two, if you're wondering why there's two, it's for either the clockwise or the counterclockwise direction. So if you rotate this uh, input here um, counterclockwise, right, it'll spin it from, it'll be using this side here. If you use it, spin it, I mean, if you spin this input here clockwise like this, you'll be using this side right here. So only one side will be working at any given time. So one handles, clock, one handles uh, counterclockwise, the other one hand, handles uh, counter, I mean clockwise. And while one's working, the other one is just sitting there. I, I mean, like, uh, you know, one fun uh, component here isn't functioning. Anyway, uh, so when you rotate this thing clockwise, what happens is it'll spin it this way right here. And if you have a lot of resistance on this end, that this will stop. What happens is, is that this will be stationary, and this rope right here will come this way, and they'll tighten up because this uh, rope here, what it'll do is it'll just tighten around the cylinder. And since the cylinder is being spun, right, in this uh, clockwise direction, what happens is, is this thing will tighten up the motor, I mean not the motor, but the friction drum will catch it, because it'll tighten up around it, and like a capstan, uh, if you don't know what a capstan is, it's basically the cylinder that you uh, put a rope around and you can pull the rope with it using rotation. Uh, just look it up, look up uh, capstan. But anyway, what happened is, is this rope will be wrapped around it, it'll tighten up, and this and the motor will take this uh, friction drum and it'll rotate it by force. So if there's a lot more resistance here on this end than uh, this could supply, this friction drum, I mean this uh, motor connected to the friction drum will help it out by grabbing this rope and pulling it so long as this input arm is 
being displaced, uh, you know, being moved. So that'll happen with this guy here. This will pull the rope, and then what'll happen is it'll pull the, the other rope here. I'll pull it going uh, clockwise as well. And then what'll happen is is when this thing is done turning a certain amount of uh, distance, so that the rope starts to loosen up, because after it moves, you know, a certain amount of distance, it'll start to free itself up. Then I'll stop because the friction drum can't catch it anymore. It's not as uh, it's not tightened around the friction drum at all, so it won't catch it. So that's kind of how this thing works, and it's the same thing with the opposite. So when you rotate this thing counterclockwise, it'll just work for this assembly here. So this rope will be going away from you, and what happens is it'll twist this thing, and the uh, friction drum that's being pulled counterclockwise will catch it. It'll pull this side here upward, you know, coming toward you or whatever, like this, you know, coming counterclockwise. And it'll move your output shaft in a counterclockwise direction as well. And I think it's the same amount of degrees or whatever, but uh, with a lot more power. So that's how this uh, whole arrangement works, is that you use a motor to uh, amplify your, the torque of your uh, inputs. Okay, so I hope you found this informative. Uh, please leave a uh, comment below of what you uh, thought about the video. And if you're interested in more stuff like this, also let me know. And uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, be uh, and if you'd like to uh, share this video as well, you know I hope it uh, is uh, informative to others. And uh, thank you.